most of them are borrowing up to 50 to 60 percent of the the buying cost. Um, we're seeing less and less people coming to us with with high high amounts of equity um, or cash. The def is definitely financed through through our four major lenders. So this is probably one of a one of the toughest. Um, I guess areas at the moment is finance, you know, what would happen with it, um, GFC. It's a case now where people have a mixture, you know, they use a bit of equity in their homes and, uh, you know, they'll mix it up a bit. They might have um, savings put aside or, or retirement funds, etc. So they mix it up. There's no real hard or fast rule of what they're using. They're just sort of going, hey, if we've got the money, we'll use it. If not, we'll use some of the equity in our property. Many are seeking independent finance, but I'd, be, I'd prefer for people to come with uh, existing financial resources, equity in their home, for example, that they can borrow against without going through the struggle of uh, qualifying on the basis of projected income, because in our business it's quite difficult to, uh, it's really that up to the individual just how successful they're going to be. The sky's the limit, but if, you're not, if you've not got all the attributes, then you won't necessarily be able to uh, make as much money as you've told the bank that you will. A lot of it is retrenchment we're finding. I've also spoken to one of our franchisors in Adelaide in the last couple of days and um, he had a couple of people from Holden who were able to access some grants to cover things like training and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, there's a lot of opportunities out there.